if you want just balls to the walls, zombie action, yeah. with nothing else, then this movie's for you. You want to see a lot of lovely Italian women? Yeah. Then this movie's for you. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. I am the trash. I am the treasure, seemingly. Before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Seven Deadly Sins Red Ale. <laughs> Today we're going to bring to you 1981's Burial Ground. This one was a Patreon request from a longtime viewer of ours, Gonzalo Valdez. And if you want us to review a movie of your choice, feel free to join us on Patreon. The link will be in the description of this video. Burial Ground is directed by Andrea Bianchi, and it stars a bunch of random Italian people <laughs> who haven't done much at all. Burial Ground starts off, we see this, like, professor guy, this alchemist-type guy <laughs> or whatever, and he's studying over all these texts and everything. Yes! I've got it! I'm the only one who knows. <laughs> and then they show him walking into some tomb and he starts chiseling at this wall. And then all these zombies start waking up out of the tombs and they start walking towards him. He turns around, he's like, no, no, stop. I'm your friend! And then, <laughs> and then they kill him. Yeah! <laughs> we then get introduced to three separate couples, and they've made their way to this mansion at the request of this professor. And they just all proceed to start screwing each other. Right away. As, <laughs> yep. as, soon, as, as soon as they all get to their separate bedrooms, it's like they're all fucking. Yeah, and there's like one woman who... She's all like modeling all this lingerie yeah. shit in front of her husband. Look at you. You look like a little whore. <laughs> <laughs> in, in an endearing way, he says that. There's one couple that they're starting to fool around. Wouldn't you know it, the goddamn kid walks in. Mama! Mama! <laughs> the mother sort of gets up. Michael! She's all still like naked and everything, but doesn't really cover up. Well, like... she has something to cover up with, but she conveniently holds it below her breasts <laughs> yeah. as opposed to up here. It's <laughs> like, so, I think you'd cover up more than that. <laughs> The next day, the couples are kind of outside of the, the grounds, the gardens and all that, walking around and checking out the scenery. And this one couple lies down and they start kind of screwing. Zombies start coming out of the ground. This couple gets attacked by the zombies, but they manage to get away. They start running away from the zombies and she steps in a bear trap. Why there's a bear trap randomly in the grounds of this mansion? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Random bear attacks? <laughs> yeah, like <it's> <laughs> But they're like in the confined walls of like the grounds. Like why is there a bear trap? There's another couple that is running away too and they sort of meet up. They help her out of it and they all sort of converge and then run into the mansion and lock the doors. The zombies start surrounding the house and now you start realizing that these zombies actually are smart enough to start wielding weapons. Yeah. And like, there's a shot where like they show these zombies, like every one of them has like something, an yeah. ax or whatever. There's a lot of axes yeah. laying around yeah. the, <laughs> this house. And they start sieging the house. One of them starts scaling like the house too. So these zombies, they can climb. Yeah. Kid Michael's all kind of distraught by what's <laughs> happening. Runs up to his mom, he's like, mama. Mama holding her and starts kissing her and everything and she's kind of starts kissing him back. Yeah, like this make out yeah. thing. Mama, I love you so much. I need you near me. Hold me close to your breast. Push him back and like smacks him. <laughs> After allowing it a little bit and then fucking smacks fucking him. Fucking groping her and everything. Some sadistic mom. <laughs> yeah, lets him have a little bit then smacks him. Now these zombies have actually like got like a battering ram going and they like work together and they get the doors open on the, the mansion and they get in and they kill off a few people including that kid Michael. Yeah. Mom walks in and the kid's dead and sees another one of her friends eating him, right? And yeah. she's like, Leslie, yeah. you killed my son! <laughs> Four of the people actually get away the next day, come across this monastery. They get into the monastery and there's this 
monk there. We need help, we need help, uh, hello, help us. And this monk just keeps walking and he keeps following this monk like up these stairs and everything. He's yeah. like, please, please, we need help. The monk goes into this room and sits down at the table with all these other monks. All the monks look up at this guy and they're all zombies. And that's where we're gonna end the plot. We will spoil the ending of this movie for you, so if you want to see how it ends, keep watching the review. But in the meantime, is it trash or treasure? <laughs> well, that will bring us to the treasure aspects of this movie. And to start, which is pretty much the very first thing, are the very good looking Italian women in this movie. <laughs> yeah. And it's a pretty sexy movie, right? Yeah. Like, this movie's full of sex and sex appeal. Yeah. Whether or not I'd consider the guys sexy, I don't know. <laughs> like, there's kind of these lame... These fucking lame disco assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's 1981, but it's not the 80s yet. They still look super 70s. Yeah, yeah. And they got those thin mustaches <laughs> and everything. Our female friends and followers will have to tell us whether or not these men are sexy. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of screwing, if you're into that. A lot of yeah. fake screwing, where it's like obvious, like, she's all off to the side mm. and everything. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Maybe in Italy it yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. The settings for this movie are actually very good. Mm. You know, the, the mansion, number one, and the grounds surrounding the mansion, it, it's very cool. Like, in, and at night, I like the mansion when it's all dark. Yeah. And you see the interior a bit more, and it's like, it's pretty upper crust. It's a fancy looking place. Yeah, for sure. In a lot of these zombie movies, people always hole up in like these dilapidated houses, cabins, breath of fresh air, that it's like, oh, it's a nice mansion. Mm -hmm, that the zombies are going to proceed yeah, to destroy. Destroy, it. which they do. <laughs> and also like the other settings too, like the, the monastery that they get to. The kills in this movie are actually pretty good. There's one notable kill where... After they get into the mansion, they lock all the doors. One of the maids goes upstairs to check if all the windows are closed. And she puts her hands on the balcony and they throw like this chisel or whatever, like this, Jason. This nail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this huge nail. Like a railroad spike. <laughs> Stabs through her hand and locks her hand in place. The zombies have this huge Sith and they slowly put it around her neck and just pull her head off. Yeah. Like, it's really cool. Yeah, then they're all kind of fighting over her head and yeah. start eating her head and then well she's dangling there what's left of her and they pull her down and you see her hand like rip through yeah. the nail yeah it's off cool into the zombies right <laughs> i think that's probably the best kill of the whole movie yeah and the gore in general is pretty good like there's a lot of that 70s italian red paint blood yeah but there's also like a lot of obvious animal guts and stuff that you mm -hmm. see when the zombies rip people open. It looks pretty good. They're yep. pulling out real intestines and hearts. Yeah, yeah. Eating it and everything. And and when they start like killing the zombies, it's like these paper mache heads <laughs> all exploding and stuff. Yeah, it's super fake, but it looks decent, yeah, right? Yeah, because they are like old and rotten and like dried up and stuff. Yeah. So like some of the effects are pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the zombies themselves, how they act, what they do, right? Which is pretty unique in this movie. The zombies actually adapt to situations. So they need to get into the house, they make a battering ram, they're yeah. all working together yeah. too to yeah. get, knock the door down. I like that, and they, they got weapons. Yeah. And they can climb, like we mentioned before. Yeah. Like, you rarely see, like, a zombie scale anything. Yeah, they're not, like, smart enough yeah. to do that. Yeah, in this case, they scale the house and stuff, which is neat. Yeah. And the look of the zombies, I'm kind of torn on, you know, because some of them look kind of cool. Yeah. But some look very, very cheap, like <laughs> like they just bought some random mask and just put some mud on it. Yeah. And that was what <laughs> yeah. they did. And that kind of takes us to the trash for this movie is also the zombies because no like rules with them. Yeah. First of all, a lot of them look kind of shitty. Like they're... Yeah, and they don't, like their faces don't move right. like at all. It's There's... super rubber mask, like <laughs> yeah. dollar store mask zombies <laughs> that they just put dirt on. You yeah. Know? There's no rules. The first thing you'll notice with the zombies, they move like a snail's pace. Right. They're like so fucking slow. But at the same time, they can build a battering ram and open up the house with a battering ram. But they're, they can't walk. Near the end, where he follows that monk, the monk's a zombie. Why does the zombie just turn around and eat him? Like, yeah. why, like why is he not eating him and luring 
him to this table full of zombies, like... Yeah, it doesn't make... Like, why Why aren't the zombies all just waiting and then just attack all of them? Yeah, all like, four of them. Yeah, like, I don't really get what, what the zombies' plan is. Like, it seems like they have a plan. Yeah. Like, some mass thing they're all working towards, but what is it? You never find yeah. out. Yeah, and that'll bring us to kind of the story of this movie, which... There is no fucking story. <laughs> the there's, whack there of story. <laughs> there's no plot point. Why did this professor guy bother to raise the dead? You don't, did did he even yeah. raise the dead? You don't even know. You don't know. You never know any of that. You never find any of this lore out as to why they've risen. It's just scenes of people being attacked by zombies. And that's it. There's no <laughs> yeah. plot development, no character development. Nothing. None of that stuff. <laughs> Balls to the walls, zombie action. Which is good, which is fine, but there's nothing in between that, yeah. that makes you give a shit about any of it. You need a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> you do. You need a sandwich. <laughs> and you have to eat the sandwich. You gotta have, like, you know, you gotta have layers. You gotta have some sort of an intelligence behind some substance. <laughs> some <laughs> what they're fucking doing. Yeah, you know, between the, the zombie attacks and the screwing, there needs to be something. <laughs> exactly. Even something as simple as him stumbling upon the professor's notes, notes or, or something, and they find yeah. out what's ha like n none of that. Yeah, because they could have had one quick scene of something like that, and then have the professor talk, narrate. This will unleash zombies across the world. Would have taken two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Another piece of trash in this movie is the characters, and again, lack, lack thereof <laughs> characters. Just couples that like to fuck, that's kind of it, you know? Also, what the characters do, or what they don't do. They do yeah. a lot of stupid fucking things. Like, they lock the doors to the mansion. Yeah. Like, well, just, let's just wait and see if they come in. <laughs> yeah. Why the, what the fuck, why would you do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, the one guy's suggestion, let's let them in. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of a suggestion is that? The one redeeming character in this, just because it's so ridiculous, is the kid Michael. Yeah. Which is obviously played by, like, a man. <laughs> this 40-year-old man playing this kid. <laughs> With this awful dubbing and dialogue. When I was a baby, you always used to hold me to your breast. And one of the reasons why they had to hire a man to play <laughs> this child is because the scene where he's like groping and kissing the mom, like yeah. you, you legally couldn't hire a kid to do that role. Yeah, yeah. So you had to hire a small man <laughs> with this triangle head to, to play this kid. And it's so... It's... It's so bad, but it's endearing at the yeah. same time. And it's the only memorable character yeah. in the movie is this weird fucking man kid. Mama. 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 Evelyn, how uh, you you sort of see a little bit of a progression with her, right? A little bit of an evolution. Like, she likes to screw in the beginning, but as the zombies <laughs> <laughs> as the zombies sort of start to start to get close to her and attack. She kind of, she starts to fight back, and she becomes kind of a bit of a badass, She right? kind of becomes a badass, yeah. And she even, like, kills that zombie with her bare hands, yeah. too, and everything. But they don't go far enough with that, is no. the problem. Like, no. they, she gets there a little bit, turns into a bit of, like, the Ripley. Yeah. But it doesn't go far enough where she's like, oh, she's our hero. The dialogue that's written for this movie is horrible. <laughs> it's funny, though, but it's just... Terrible. At least the American dubbing of the dialogue. Like, who knows what the actual Italian dialogue may have been. <laughs> yeah. But whatever the Americans are saying is <laughs> fucking horrible. Like, there's that one line. You're getting a raise from me, all right, but it has nothing to do with money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and when the, the, that Michael kid and his mom are in that, <laughs> that arts and crafts area, whatever the fucking house, and <laughs> yeah. he runs up to his mom with this cloth, he's like, Mama. Mother, this cloth smells of death. How do you know what death smells like? You're like a kid, and who says that? You don't know what death is. <laughs> exactly. We've mentioned it before, but that line <laughs> where that archaeologist guy gets attacked by the zombies. Stand back! I'm your friend! <laughs> what who says that, that to a zombie? <laughs> I'm your friend. Let's go have a fucking drink, you know? <laughs> There's no theme in this movie at all, right? There's no theme to really get you pumping, get you into the movie. Like musical theme. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just this random jazz music 
that and doesn't then, fit. And then this random synthesizer, bloopity bloop bloop type yeah. stuff. There's nothing to get you going, yeah. right? And the ending for this movie, as ridiculous as it is, it's kind of fun, but there's no payoff. No. So, like, they end up at this weird arts and crafts area where yeah, they're this. building these statues and find out that that Michael kid's a zombie now. Yeah. And he's like, oh, mama, yeah. <laughs> and then she did, the mom starts hugging him and everything. And, yes, yeah. yes, here you go. Yeah, and like, all that. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> And then, yeah, then he fucking chomps away. It's like, what, what the hell kind of... <laughs> and then the zombies grab this guy, and they start putting him towards this, like, saw. This saw like, and it's like, okay, we're going to see something really cool here. Like, we're going to put him through the fucking saw. And then it just stops. The movie just <laughs> yeah. ends. And then that's it, and that's yeah. the end of the movie. Yeah, it's like, well, fuck, you get no payoff whatsoever. The only payoff in this movie is a woman getting her breast bitten off by her son. Yeah, yeah, that's like, <laughs> that's the payoff? That's the payoff? <laughs> yeah, you're just kind of left at the end just going, well, okay, yeah. and I saw it, and that's, that's it. Pretty obvious this movie is just a blatant, cheap, Zombie flesh eaters knockoff. Right. Like from the zombie design to some of the shots are lifted right out of zombie flesh eaters, rising from the ground mm -hmm. and With got the maggots. Yeah, the worms in the eye. Like the zombies look like the zombies from that movie. Yeah. The, There's the scene, the eye scene. Right. Yeah. But the the dummy head is all super shitty. Yeah. It's all wrinkly with all the shitty rubber and everything. <laughs> like ah. Oh. It's like, yeah, it's, it's pretty blatant <laughs> at that point that there's ripping off Lucio Fulci's zombie. The movie was actually one of the many movies titled Zombie 3 yeah. in some region, so it's, it was kind of almost a unrelated zombie sequel. Right, right. Which I, we missed yeah. <laughs> when yeah, we talked right. about all of our zombie sequels. So, Burial Ground, Trash or Treasure? Ugh. It's trash. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say it's trash too. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Like if you want just balls to the walls, zombie action, yeah. with nothing else, then this movie's for you. You wanna see a lot of lovely Italian women, yeah. then this movie's for you. No substance. This isn't an intellectual piece, no. that's for sure. <laughs> but it's maybe worth one watch, and then you can judge for yourselves. Yeah. And until next time, keep drinking and chomping. <laughs>